For today's YouTube video, guys, I got you the brand new shotgun here in Modern Warfare 3, and that is the Reclaimer 18. Now, if you guys remember the Spaz 12, it's back here in Modern Warfare 3, and I'm not gonna lie, this thing is super fun. You're gonna see in today's gameplay where I drop over 150 kills, and I got you three DNA bombs in one game you guys will enjoy. So if you guys are new, enjoy today's video, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel with notice on, and let's get into it. Now, real quick, guys, before we get further in today's video, I do wanna show you the best Reclaimer 18 classes up here before we get into our gameplay. And for our first attachment on the shotgun, guys, we are going to the stock here and adding on the no stock that's gonna help with a lot of mobility and handling which is super important for a shotgun especially this one this is just gonna help us move faster around the map we're aiming down sights faster we're shooting faster off a sprint moving faster while aim down sights and anything dealing with movement running sprinting anything we are moving faster which is really important so we're gonna add this on for my first attachment now, drop it down to the rear grip. We're going to add on the center mass grip tape. Now, this is going to help with sprint the fire speed and aim down sight speed. Now, I will say with this shotgun, it is really important that you're aiming down sights when getting your kills. It's going to help more with those consistent one shots. So, with this being an aim down sight shotgun, we do need to have the aim down sight speed all the way maxed up as possible and also have good sprint the fire speed so we can run and gun, aim down sights fast get our kills, move on to that next target. So we're going to add this on for our second attachment. Next, guys, we are going over here to the underbarrel and adding on the Edge VW4 handstop grip. Now, this attachment is going to be a really nice attachment here for this shotgun. Since we do need handling and mobility, it's going to help out a ton here. We're moving faster while aim down slide. So if you do pre-aim, that's going to help out a ton. We have better movement speed. So if you're running, you're tack sprinting, you're sliding, crouch movement, regardless, whatever movement you're using, it is going to be faster with this. We're also getting better aim down sight speed and sprint the fire speed so we can aim down sights lightning quick now and also shoot faster off a sprint to help us be more aggressive. So we're going to add this on. Very important that we have this on here. Now we're jumping up here to the muzzle and I will say it's really important that we use the Bryson Improved Choke. Now out of all these muzzles, you know, we could get better damage range, but also with this shotgun, we do want a tighter pellet spread, which this one gives us the tightest pellet spread. We're also getting some damage range and we're also getting the best hip fire accuracy. We're going to add this on here and I will show you the stats on here. We're only getting a little bit of damage range as you guys see here. Again, I could go with something different for that damage range. The main thing I'm using this for is that tighter pellet spread. That's going to be the only reason this is the best one to give you that pellet spread to be super tight and this is why i'm gonna be using it here and then going to my final attachment we are going to the barrel and adding on the discourager 900 heavy barrel now what this is going to do is give us more shotgun shells in our tube and we're also getting better bull velocity and range nothing too crazy on the recoil control and gun kick control we don't really need to have that on a shotgun here which i will show the stats on this we are getting a seven percent increase in our bull velocity and we're also getting a 15 percent increase in our damage range making us have those better one shot kills at longer ranges now we're here in the firing range with the Reclaimer 18, and here's my build for it. I do want to show you just how the aim down sight speed is for the shotgun, and like I said, it is really important that you do aim down sights with the shotgun. I want to show you the damage that we have here at medium and up close. There's no reason, and I mean the shells aren't going to hit at that long range, but this shotgun is nice. I'm not going to lie. I had a lot of fun with it, but also here is the rest of my build I'm going to be using in today's gameplays. I do have the WSP Stinger on. It still has the highest mobility in the game. That is the only reason I use it, and this is the build I'm going to be using for it. If you're looking for a no recoil build here we do have the stun nade we have the simtex as always dead silent scavenger gloves lightweight boots the compression plate and i am using the entry vest to be a little bit more aggressive but go ahead if you haven't unlocked it yet go ahead and max it out try this build out let me know in the comments if you drop any high kill games any dna bombs and also let me know in the comments what do you guys think about it but guys thanks so much for watching you guys stay safe and let's jump into today's gameplays boom easy boom easy boom boom oh my god Oh, that 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 was a good start. That was a good start with that shotgun. Let's go. Give me a little double kill. Boom. Yeah, we're about to get a nice gameplay here. We got a brand new shotgun, of course. You guys already know. I'm sure a lot of you guys have been using it already. But we have the we have the Reclaimer 12, Spaz 12. I don't know what you guys really call it. The game has been freezing a lot here lately. I don't know. After this update, it's been happening more often. But let me see. It's glitched. There we go. Oh, there's someone in this corner. Yep. You're gone. You're done, buddy. All right. Let's actually get a helicopter. Maybe an advanced UAV. It, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's the shotgun. Or, you know, it's like... For some reason, it's more inconsistent. 
up close rather than long range. See what I mean? But also, like, I've heard, like, with the shotgun, you really only want to aim down sights with it. So, I feel like with this shotgun, we're going to be aiming down sights a lot with it. Yeah, definitely 100%. There we go. We got the Advanced UAV now. Let's actually get this nuke. See how we're going to play this a little bit. I love these iron sights. I do. I'm glad, like, they didn't get rid of, like, the, uh... Um, of course, you do have to use the no-stock attachment to get, like, the, the OG Spaz-12 look from, like, Black Ops 1. But uh, I am glad they did not get rid of that. That is one thing I was worried about. But thank God we actually got it. There we go. We are really close to a nuke here. Let's just be careful a little bit, and we should get this. Hold on. See, I mean, like, like I said, I, I feel more consistent with this at longer range than I do up close. Perfect. All right, we got, we got a DNA bomb. What I might do, what, I don't know. I don't. Well, I was about to say we go on a high streak, or you know, get a DNA like a uh, just get multiple DNAs. But it looks like we're gonna go for multiple DNA bombs now. Let's see what we got going on here. Boom. There we go. Oh. Also, I feel like I feel like most of my shells need to be hitting. I don't know. This, I'm kind of getting some uh, Expedite 12 vibes from this thing. Honestly. I'm definitely getting some Expedite 12 vibes from this. That was, if you don't know what that is, that was the worst shotgun in Modern Warfare 2 last year. There we go. There we go. Perfect. Let's go. Toss that over. There we go. How many kills are we at? We're at? We're already at 60. Let's keep this up. Come on. Oh, that. Oh, that was a collateral. Let's get this reload real quick. Call this helicopter in real quick. You don't have you don't have to be on the flag if you cap there, bud. I might put the IMS over here on this one. Oh my god, my helicopter shot that bouncing Betty and it gave me a double kill. There we go. Let's get this double nuke now. There we go. We're about to get another nuke here. Let's go. Come on. We should have it. Yep, there it is. There's our second DNA bomb. I missed. Oh my god. Yeah, we, we're definitely getting in a high kill game here. We are 100% getting a high kill game. Boom. That's an RPG. I would pick it up to troll, but not right now. There we go. I might just try going on this high gun streak real quick, maybe. I'm gonna... There we go. There we go. There we go. Call this advance in. Come on. We're actually doing so good. I've seen a lot of people say that like, this shotgun needs to be buffed already. I mean, it's kind of how you look at it. It's really just on how you look at it. To me, I mean, the movement's really nice, so you can get around the map pretty quick with it. As you guys see, I'm actually moving pretty quick around the map. I, for me though, I just don't, I just don't think the weapon itself is not. I don't. I don't think the pel some of the pellets aren't connecting. That's my. That's my only thing. And then, I, yeah, I mean, that's really it for me, to be honest. It, it just. It seems like all the pellets are not connecting, cause with shotguns now, 
You only have to have like eight of your pellets to hit to make it a one-shot kill, I think it is. But sometimes it's consistent, so I, I, I mean, I don't know. Some people might say above, some people might say it needs to be nerfed. I would like to know your opinion in the comments. Might try getting this a high gun streak, actually. Hold on. Yeah, I mean, the this is actually insane. Here's the feed I wanted. Here's the feed I wanted. No way! I mean, we went on a 60 gun streak, so we technically do have uh, three DNA bombs. We do have three DNA bombs. All right. I, hey, I found out how to use this shotgun. Uh, maybe I didn't. How many kills we're at? We're at 137. Uh... I might go ahead and start calling these DNA bombs in so we can actually just get some more kills. Because if. Yeah, I think we're just going to go ahead and call these DNA bombs in real quick. There we go. That should be all of them. Boom. That should be a four. Yep, there we go. And then I will call this other DNA bomb in. And it should give me all four again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay behind this dude until it happens. That was nice. Okay. Well. We really can't ask for anything else. I mean, we dropped nearly 150 kills. We dropped three nukes in a game with a shotgun. I mean... And I just get punched to death. Awesome. They had they have to do that for a challenge. Yeah, but honestly... Um, I'm very curious to know on y'all's opinion about... Does this shotgun need to be nerfed? Does it need to be buffed? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? I'm very curious on what you guys think about it. Bank, this game's about to end, so I just want to guarantee over 153 kills. We got over 100 kills, 150 kills, three DNA bombs in a game with the brand new Spaz 12, aka the Reclaimer 18. It, it's a different gun, but it was fun to use. Let's go.